Speaking of traffic, now Gideon Okeke had an accident a few days ago. He had a, a light accident with another Nigerian and they had moved off the side of the road to settle out their differences by themselves. Now, whilst they were there, according to him, he then invited the Nigerian police to intervene in the matter and ended up getting brutalized. We have videos of him speaking up about it and sharing his experience. Take a look, take a listen. When we'll come back, Esther and I will be speaking more about this. responsible citizen of the city of Lagos. I'd like to draw the attention of the office of the highest authority that this message may concern. There has recently been a threat on my life and my economy by men of the Lagos division of the Nigerian police force. For a minor accident that happened between myself and another driver, Mrs. Mosumola Ilori. Yesterday at about 8 p.m. at the Leki roundabout, Myself and Mrs. Mosumola Ilori, alongside her niece, were brutally manhandled by men of the Maroko police station after an accident that happened between us for which we were both settled and in agreement. The results are what you see on my face. May I also express my regrets and send my sincere apologies to Uber Sponsorships, the company that had hired me to perform as MC at the Johnny Jazz and Whiskey event tonight. Guys, I am sorry. Unfortunately, I couldn't come up to the best of myself tonight due to avoidable recurrent circumstances. I do hope that you come back again. I am really deeply sorry. And to the scores of pedestrians last night who stood their ground on behalf of myself and Mrs. Mosumola, Ilori, and her niece, thank you, everyone who stood their ground against police brutality. Like I said, this will not go as just another story. I will not be another statistic. I will chase this to the full extent of the law. I'd like to use the avenue of this message to humbly reach out to the esteemed office of the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akinomi Ambodi, as well as the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, to kindly look into the lodged case of police brutality against unarmed civilians filed at the Maroko Police Station VI. As a result of this incident, Tonight, I am unable to appear at the Johnny Jazz and Whiskey Music Concert, for which I had been paid my full term to appear as the MC compare of that event. And that is actor, an Hollywood actor, Gideon Okeke, explaining exactly what happened, you know, to him at Lekki. And it's a really sad incident. And it just basically reinforces the conversations we've been having. Today, unfortunately, is Human Rights Day. Such an unfortunate day to be having such conversations. But we must have such conversations. Now, when we're talking about human rights, we're ensuring that, you know, it's not just we as civilians. We're expecting members of the armed forces, members of the Nigerian police force. We're expecting them who are supposed to be the temple and the custodians of justice to be able to be a part of ensuring that our fundamental rights are not being being infringed on. Here his right to dignity of human person has been tampered with, you know, freedom of movement. He's basically had his source of livelihood taken away from him. He's been assaulted and he's been battered. So it'll be very, very interesting, you know, we'd like to contact those from the Maroko Police Division to find out what is being done about this, to hear from their own side as well, because of course we'd like to hear the two sides to the story. But regardless of what any Nigerian does, nobody deserves to be beaten up in such a way that they have to have their mouths stitched. If the person is probably breaking a law, let's assume Gideon broke a law. There are ways to go about it. Arrest him, take him to a police station, and let the law take its course. We should know the difference between a police officer and a street tout. We should know the difference. What's your take on all of this, Esther? Okay, so um, it's in situations like this that we get to ask, how exactly do policemen get hired in Nigeria? What are... Uh, what, what's the criteria for getting them into the force? Because just like you mentioned about, you know, who is a policeman and who actually is the tout on the streets that was just giving 
a uniform and is standing or posing as a policeman. Now, if you're a policeman, he rightly said in the video as we watched that he and Mrs. You know, Lori, Musumola, Ms. Musumola Lori. had actually settled their differences. They actually had, were involved in the accident and they had decided within, uh, you know, between themselves that, okay, we would settle it this way. I don't know how it was going to be, but let me say, assuming if he had his faults, he had agreed that maybe he would fix that part of our car that was battered or something, then you come in as the police. I'm sure they actually told the police that, see, we've agreed that this issue will be settled. I don't even care if they did not agree. The point is, we should not be afraid of the Nigerian police force. Police is your friend should not be a slogan. It should be the truth that we live by. We should not be seeing them on the road at checkpoints and be scared. You should see them and be excited that, you know, you're being protected, that they're doing their job. We are appealing to Nigerians and kudos to all the Nigerians who stood their ground. We should all stand for each other in situations like this, not just against, not just, you know, against the Nigerian police. No, we should stand up for each other and ensure that our individual fundamental human rights are not infringed on and our collective rights are not infringed on. Today, more than ever, on Human Rights Day, we need to start having these conversations. Of course, we will try to reach out to the Nigerian Police Force Morocco Division. We would like to hear what the update is on the story and our thoughts and prayers are with Gideon and Mrs. Mosumola Ilori, hoping that they would get past the trauma physically, the mental and emotional trauma. Because in most situations, what now happens is you're going, you see a police officer and your heart is cut. Yes. You know, there's some trauma that's, that's attached to that. And we hope that we, we get over this. This is not to say that the police is indeed terrible, of course. They're just a few bad eggs. And these are the few bad eggs in the police force, as well as in all the professions, that we must weed out. We will not allow them to tarnish reputation of the other good upright police officers that are doing their job. We will not allow them to put fear in us, all right? That's all we have for you. Uh, we'll be bringing you updates on that story as we progress. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.